This is going to be uh, another video on this wet sandblaster. I did one recently on this smaller uh, one that goes on the quarter inch uh, setup with the smaller electric sandblaster. It's really pretty good size one for electric for home use. It, uh, I like it. it. It does fine. But I have a bigger commercial grade sandblaster, excuse me, pressure washer that is a little bit bigger than what most people have in their at their house. It's a nine horse motor, uh, four gallon a minute, 4,000 pound is what it claims to be. There was issues with the pump, so I just bought a new pump and put it on there. I haven't started it up yet. We'll, we'll uh, see how it's going here in a few minutes. So um, anyway, this is the quarter inch set that I did the video on the other day, and this is the bigger 3-8 setup and we're going to try this one out and see how it works and we're going to do it on on, a, on another brake drum just the outside of it because this drum's not going to be reused and we'll do some on a on a fender that was replaced on a car and uh, see how it does with the paint and the rust on the fender The sand I was using in the other video was a lot more abrasive than this. This is just quarry sand that I dried out on the concrete in the sun and uh, sifted it because I can use it in the pot blaster as well. I can take this over to where the pot blaster is. I don't have air over here where I am right now. I've got uh, high water pressure over here. This, we got city water pressure direct. This is not an outdoor uh, spigot that you have on your wall, a bibcock on the wall, because those have a lot of um, flow reduction in them. There's just not a lot of water comes out of them. And so uh, this thing here can run four or five sprinklers at a time on the grass or in the garden or whatever. And the, uh, a, a bibcock is lucky to run one because they they just cut the water flow down so much on them but this is city water pressure without going through a regulator it's over 100 pounds of water pressure that we have here anyway as you saw i had this up to 4,000 pounds of pressure on the um, on the pump here and uh, we need a minimum of four gallons of water on this thing and we got 
I'm sure we have more than that coming out of this spec. This thing will, I mean, this has got a lot of a lot of water coming out of there, a lot of pressure. So, with this soft, mild sand, as you see, it did take the paint off, and it um, had to get pretty close to it though. And it does a fine job on the rust. Now, one major advantage is it keeps all your sand right here. You don't have to wear breathing protection. It's good to have eye protection on, but you, um, all your sand stays right here and uh, you don't have much of it over spray or anything like that like you do with the dry uh, sand blaster. So I'll go over there and do a little bit of dry sand blast with the pressure pot and compare. I'm going to use this pressure pot blaster. It um, doesn't have as big a nozzle as that uh, wet sand blaster does, but uh, I don't know, this dry blaster seems to be more abrasive, but we'll see how it does on this. Um, got the fender set up over here again, we'll hit a different spot on it. It's a different drum, but same condition. So let me go ahead and get set up for that. Well, the pot buster's qu quite a bit faster, I believe. Um, it's a lot messier and a lot noisier because the air compressor is hammering the whole time, and you got to have a lot of air. Most people at home do not have anywhere near that much air. Uh, you need a good 18 to 20 CFM. Uh, it's probably a good amount get by with that it'd be hammering the whole time you gotta stop and let it catch up now and then then after about 10 minutes you gotta stop and wait and let the thing cool down let the compressor cool down unless you got a big you know a lot of air and you got 50 cubic feet of air then you can run these or a bigger one but um, yeah it's a lot faster to do this but your sand is not contained see there's no sand anywhere around here it's all it's all over the place. It's all on me too. And you got to wear breathing protection. I have to wear a mask. Um, but it is a lot faster to use the pot blaster, but that water pressure blaster. I think the smaller one that I did on the other video, I'll have a link on this video for that video. Uh, I think it's the best deal for people at home. And it's going to work good for you and it's um, inexpensive. You just got to. Um, got to have enough water to run it and you know enough power on your sandblaster I mean on your pressure washer all right thanks for watching